Welcome back, everybody, to Ark Survival Evolved on the Fjorder map. I'm an old guy gaming, and in this episode, we are going to go out and about and do some exploration. I uh, just got to get a couple things situated here in the, the base. Made some more charcoal because we're making gunpowder. And uh, I'm going to, looks like I'm going to actually need to cook up some food as well. So let's um, put that into there. We got a nice chunk of spoiled meat. And let's cook up some of this stuff here. Uh, but yeah, the uh, plan for today is to go out and explore the island uh, with the express goal of looking for a permanent base location. I want to get out of this area. Um, this area is just not... Uh, it, it's just difficult, as I've already expressed to you guys in previous videos, to to work in, at least in the early game. And so, uh, mostly because it's hard to find uh, certain resources, like chitin, for example. Um, the terrain is really uh, hard to get around in, and that sort of thing. So, uh, we're gonna go look for a better place to live. Uh, this base will stay here, though, because this is a starting location. Uh, so, if other people join us at a later point in time, they will be able to um, uh, use this place if they want to to help get their get on their feet okay so let's go into here i've, I've made a couple more modifications uh, to the place including uh, I, I went ahead and built a corral and the reason for that is because oh, wait that's not what i wanted to do the reason for that is because um, i had to go afk yesterday for for a bit and when I came back, the animals were just all over the place, which is not surprising. I, you know, that kind of thing happens because something attacked him and they went after him, that sort of thing. Um, and so I said, well, all right, I need to take the time to build an enclosure, uh, you know, so that doesn't happen when I'm when I'm offline. So um, what else? Oh, yeah, I was going to go out here and grab whatever spoiled meat we happen to have in there. I did it again. My goodness. So scatterbrained this morning. Um Okay, so it looks like that's enough spoiled meat to use up all the rest of our narco berries. So let's see, yeah, this is the corral here. It's just made it out of wood, real basic. Nothing nothing too fancy. I have all of the critters except for the RGs uh, in here. One thing I discovered about the Stego, this is new uh, since I played Ark last, you know, two years ago, two and a half years ago, actually, is that um, the the Stegs now have modes, which is really cool. So if you look in the upper right-hand corner of my screen, you'll see that there's a little icon with the sword. This is called Blade Mode, and it also uh, changes the decoration on, on the Stego's bony plates. Um, so sword mode is used for berry gathering and it's also used for armor penetration So it's supposed to be really good for P, uh, PvP if I press the C key then the stego goes into um, Wait a minute. What was it? Okay, hold on That sharpen plate the one we just looked at sharpen plate is what it's called. Sorry a hardened plate. Okay, so hardened plate changes the design on the body plates and this is the thing where the stego will when it, when it hits somebody, it pins them to the ground. So the Stego was actually doing this to us when we were trying to tame it. Um, and it's also it also goes a lot slower when it's in this mode. So, um, well, no, I guess it doesn't. Never mind. Uh, I'm still not sure why the Stego was really slow yesterday when we were trying to tame it. But nevertheless, um, this is... Yeah, so, this, so what this does is this will pin an enemy in place, and I think it puts a bleed effect on it too. And then if I press C again, then it goes into heavy plate mode, which is really cool. Look at those plates. Um, and this is the tank mode. So basically the Stego takes only 50% damage in this mode, and it's also the mode that you want to use when you're gathering wood and, and uh, thatch. Uh, so really cool. Uh, it took me a little bit to figure it out because I was in... I was actually in... Um, uh, this mode, hard and plate mode, and I wasn't able to get any berries. And I'm going, what the hell, man? Did did they change the stego? Um, so I looked it up, and sure enough, they had to change the stego. So I like those changes. I've always liked this dino too, and uh, it's good to see that they've given it some love, and you know, made it more useful. So anyway, let's put uh, you back into blade mode here. 
And if any, any of you happen to make a comment to that effect in the last video, I, I haven't seen it yet because I'm in, in usual fashion. I'm pre-recording several of these episodes, so I haven't seen the comments from that yet. Um, okay. And I don't think anything different has changed with the RGs. We still have the three Argentavis, and uh, I put them, of course, inside the taming pin. They're all riled up because Adillo came by earlier, and or Dino, I guess is how you say that, and got them worked up, and now they're just doing their thing, but I'm not going to worry about it. And then um, I think that's it as far as updating you guys. I did add a couple double doors on this end so I could get um, Petra inside of the, the base. And uh, so you're working on narcotics for us. So that's good. And then you guys are working on charcoal. And we have a stack of 122 bullets. And I think we're good to go. So we just need some food. And also, let's see, we have, yeah, we have a full jar of water. So I think we're ready to, oh, I know, there is one other thing. I, I am now in a full set of flak armor too. Uh, I wasn't, uh, I made that off, off camera. So we are now fully flaked out. All right, guys, so we're going to take Petra uh, because he's the fastest for, for this. Get on out the door here. And let's uh, go ahead and explore the island. So I think what we'll do is I have been... Um, I, I've been pretty much in the southern region of this entire island, uh, looking for resources and whatnot. And, um, so I think what we'll do is we'll go due north and we'll kind of stay along the coast-ish and just go all the way up north as far as we can go and just kind of see the territory and then maybe kind of make, you know, a little bit of a circular motion around the map with, um, a, a spiral kind of thing. Let's put that away. Uh, to explore the map, so yeah, we're that's what we're about today. We're looking uh, that horn's right in my face. I think, yeah, let's let's go ahead and grab this. I should probably not be grabbing it every single one of these I see, unless I'm on a dino that is like a really high end dino. Though though this is a pretty high end dino. I think uh, Petra was a 145 when we dropped when we tamed it. So, um, but eventually I'd like to get a max level, uh, especially for. What are you running from uh, later on if we start breeding, which we, we you know, which is in my plans to do. Okay, so let's see. Petra is a little over 2,000 health. I've mostly been pumping stamina and melee damage with Petra. Uh, so let's give one point to stam and one uh, to melee damage. Because this bird's primary purpose is transportation, so we want, want it to be fast and be able to cover long distances. But it's also pretty good fighter in its own right too the trend dons always happen especially when they added you know this little spin attack which does quite a bit of damage okay so let's take a look we got uh, a rex up there um this is kind of a nice little plateau up here but i, I still feel like we're really kind of isolated from the rest of the action i'm not i'm, I'm not completely ruling out having our permanent base on this island that's just a level 15 Rex. Um, but I, I I don't want to make any, you know, permanent decisions, we'll say, until, until we've really kind of explored the whole thing, at least from the air. Oh, there's two Rexes down there. Okay. Uh, we are definitely on the lookout for a max level T-Rex because, uh, you know, we are going to be breeding them for boss fights. They seem to be the... He's 55. Uh, they seem to be the go to dino well they're not the only one uh, we want rexes we want probably therizinosauruses and we want you you tyrannus um you know for boss fights and perhaps a couple others so so we'll really be zeroing in on those dinos in particular for our breeding program once we get it started um okay so so this is just a terminal i'm assuming it, it looks different than than the normal ones do so that plateau there is a possible option for us. Um, the one, I guess the one question I would potentially have about that is the availability of chitin. Uh, because I've just kind of had a hard time, like I said, coming across that in any quantity in this area. He's a level 20. There's a 145 stake. 
So, okay. Well, we'll keep that in mind, of course, that plateau. Uh, I'm not interested, of course, in living in the snow biome. Just don't want to do that. And we need to kind of get moving here, too, because we are cold. You know, the other the thing I got to thinking about, too, is we should be able to make a cryopod or three. Oh, look at this. This is cool, man. They got all these critters around here. This map is so awesome. Is that a sheep or... No, that's one of the deer. Uh, I don't... Sheep? I don't know how rare sheep are on this map. Um, they were exceedingly rare on the island map. You know, the, the default map. Um, anyway, I want to look... That Daydon's kind of right where we need to be. I want to take a quick look at potentially making ourselves a, um, a cryopod because then we can just put the stego in the cryopod when we make our move and not have to worry about, you know, bringing her, her, I think it's a female, yeah, over land. Yeah, let's wait for that Daydon to get a little ways away. I just want to drop down and see what it is required for a cryopod. Make sure you are on passive. Don't go anywhere. Uh, stru structures crafting. No, that's a tech replicator. Cryo fridge. Do I have to... That's the fin fin rear boss, I guess. Oh, here we go. So we need crystal fiber hide to ingot oil. Yeah, you know what? Those those requirements are not too bad. We can we should be able to handle that. Oh, why is that owl attacking? I didn't know those guys were hostile. Yes, they are. Okay, so let's continue heading north. And uh, I will work on gathering those resources. Uh, to make the crowd pods so that we can transport our stego. And, you know, all the rest of the critters that we have that we will take with us are flyers, so, th so that's not a big deal. It's just the stego that I want to make sure we can safely transport to our new location. Because that is a max level steg, and uh, if we wanted to breed them, we probably won't. Um, or we might. We'll see. I don't know. The main purpose of breeding is going to be for boss fights, so... For, for just utility dinos, we don't necessarily have to get too crazy about breeding on them. All right, anyway, let's take a look here. So we got another kind of shelf-type area here that drops down into a river valley, it looks like. So let's go down here and take a look-see. another rune uh, that looks like a little pack of hyena duns and they have aggroed on me okay so this is kind of a nice area there's some metal right there too so that would be That would be a plus for living in this area. Let's look at the map for a second. All right. So, yeah, that metal's right in between about 60 and 70. Just remember that for future reference. Very neat area. And there, oh wow, there's even more metal down here. Look at that. Okay. I, li I like the the river too, you know, I think it looks really cool. There's some kind of Stonehenge place here. How interesting. Are these, 
Are these flowers harvestable or are they just for decoration? Oh, they're, yeah, they're actual rare flowers. Oh, nice. Okay. We need those for, as an ingredient for s something. I can't remember what it was for later on. So, okay, that's good to know. Hopefully those will respawn. I'm sure they will. Okay, so yeah, I'm, uh, I'm not opposed to, to this spot because it's got metal nearby. Um, it's relatively flat in through here. So we could potentially build a base there. And I like the, I like the river, the river valley too. So now, you know, here's another thing. This place, this little island here, could potentially make a nice little base because it, it's already fortified uh, at least on that side and we you know we could put a gate right there we have to put a gate on that side but is it fortified all the way back around yeah see so you so this would be very a, a nice place for just general protection um, you know, from, from, from wild animals and so forth. Oh, I got attacked by, uh, these ant things off camera too. And they provided me with enough chitin to finally make the, you know, the one, um, Argent, Argentavis saddle that we needed. All right, let's, let's land and kind of look at this spot there's lots of space it's near metal it's flat and it's very well fortified from critters down below okay I'm uh, I'm really liking this spot I I think this is our our first real potential candidate for for a place to to, to have our base there's a lot there's lots of good points about this place it's flat it's large it's naturally fortified almost all the way around it's near metal uh, we're also pretty close to the sea um, thing is though is how how far out does the sea go uh, from this border I don't know, because I know down south where we started, the border's like just right there. It's, you know, it's like 50 yards off the coastline. So it, it doesn't, there's not really much ocean there to do anything with. So let's, uh, let's do a, a quick flight off the coast and just see how far out it goes. I'm just waiting for the bird stamina to get back. Because if it goes out a decent ways, that means there's going to be some pretty decent ocean that we can, you know, do underwater stuff. Oh, okay. So, hmm. I mean, yeah, I don't know. That doesn't go out very far. However, we do have this inlet here, though. Let's look at the map again for a minute. Yeah, so so we, we have the inlet, and that's probably where a lot of the sea stuff's going to be anyway. So, in fact, it doesn't look like there's much open, quote-unquote, ocean at all on this map. So probably the majority of the sea um, area is, is the big, you know, bay that goes through there, the inlet. Or a sound. It looks almost like a sound. Okay, so yeah, um, we're, we're, we're close enough here to the ocean to where we can do the ocean stuff. And uh, so this is this is our first, like I said, real potential candidate for a base. But we're going to keep doing more exploring uh, and see what else there is. Okay, so let me look at the map again. <clears throat> 
I think... Yeah, let's just keep doing what I said, uh, where we're gonna just keep going north. And just kind of cover the whole map in a spiral. So we're getting into a different kind of biome over here. Um, I was told by Joe that this map is supposed to have all of the biomes present. So this is kind of a dark, dank looking place. I wonder, is this like a, a swamp area? those huge lily pads. Huh. Okay. There's there's mushrooms. If this is a swamp, which I'm going to say that it is, we've got to be careful of capros. Those little crocodile things that jump up and pull you off your mount. Can we pick these? Oh, yeah, there's a whole bunch of different mushrooms here. Nice. Okay. So maybe this is kind of like um, some aberration stuff. I never really played aberration. Uh, actually, I don't know if I ever played it at all. So I think maybe those mushrooms were added there. Uh, there's some Paraceratheriums down there, and I thought I saw one a, a Titan Boa, too, a moment ago. Yeah, there he is down there. Okay, cool. All right, so this is good. This is the swamp area. We are going to definitely need resources from here, and it's just right across the bay from our potential base location. So, I'm liking it. It looks like there's a dead Stego down there. There's a Spino. Let's get a glass on the Spino and just see what level he is. Ooh, 130. That's pretty high level. Male Spino. Okay. Is that... Organic polymer? What? So, okay, wait a minute. Was that... Was that a that wasn't like it's just a normally killed stego? I think that was a oh wait looking at the wrong thing. Oh look at that! I think that was like a rotting corpse maybe that is just a what the hell was that thing? I thought I saw some unrecognizable creepy crawly thing down there, and I probably did, but I don't know where it is now. Anyway, um, maybe that's something that's just placed on the in the swamp map as like a decaying corpse. Yeah, see, there's another one down there. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, so so this is where we can come and get um, organic polymer. Beautiful. Spino's attacking that Dimorphodon. Let's run down here and grab this one, too. I want to be careful, like I said, of Capros. Uh, those things are exceedingly dangerous. All right. Let's continue heading north. There isn't actually a whole lot of point in harvesting stuff like that right now because um, we're not going to be heading back home for a while. And uh, I think it, it does spoil, right? Yeah. Oh. We might be able to retain some of them. We're going to need some polymer. Well, we need polymer for a lot of things, but we're going to need some for the... to make that cryopod. Titan boa. I remember uh, combing the, the swamps in Valhalla. I, I, that, uh, of the, you know, earlier maps that were made for this game, Valhalla was always my favorite. I just really loved that map, but they never... They never really finished it. Um, 
Oh, there's a there's a Baryonyx. I, I really like the Baryonyx Dino. There's a Kappa right there. He's the guy that we got to be careful of. Um, he'll pull us off our mount. He's level 50. Um, anyways, what was I saying? Um, yeah, I always liked Valhalla, but they never they never actually f completed the map, and so it would. Um, there's a there's a frog. It had a lot of issues, but man, I just loved it though, and I played on it quite a bit in spite of those issues. And I think of the guy that the guys that made this map originally made Valhalla. Okay, well anyway, let's uh, we need to if we're gonna come back here, we need to come back here with a little better support than just our terrain on, because there's a lot of nasty stuff in the swamp, but also a lot of good resources too. Come down here and get our stamina back before we cross the water again. So I'm I'm guessing then that this little island is is the swamp biome. There might be another one, of course. In the oh, it looks like they've shown a little ruin or something, right at the edge of here. Oh yeah, look at that. There's like a castle or something up here. Let's go check that out. Oh, this is cool. Got a big Titan boa in there. Oh, nifty. Okay. I mean, I wouldn't really want to live in the swamp, but... If there are more of these castle things, then, you know, these could this could be a potential cool base, too, if it's in a nice location. Love it. Okay. Okay, let's get some stand back again. All right, let's continue heading north. This biome is cool looking. It's kind of has an autumnal vibe to it. Autumn. Pretty. Uh, this reminds me of, I think it was called the Reach in Skyrim. Very neat. Wow. It's like we're in an entirely different world now. It's just gorgeous. You got a Carno over there. Nice little metal deposit. There's a Therizinosaurus. Big old trike there. Neat area, man. Very neat area. More metal here, too. Pretty close to the snow biome. Okay, let's eat some food here because we're getting cold and uh, do you have yeah you've got some meat there harvesting those corpses for for the polymer and the spoiled meat is just going to be so handy
Isn't that beautiful? Man, this is neat looking. Just fly right up through the ravine here. Oh, there's a cave. Oh, very cool, man. Wait, no. Is that a cave? It look, no, I don't think it's a cave. I think it just... Yeah, no, it, it's not. It's just a little tunnel. It's still very cool, though. That's actually really nice that that's there, you know, for, for getting through here. So it looks like the other side is more of the same type of biome. We've got a nice little river canyon here. And a frozen lake down below. So there might be like penguins and stuff down that way. I just have to say, man, the, the guys that made this map and that made Ragnarok and even Valhalla, these guys are freaking artists, man. They are so good. Oh, man, this is just cool. Let's go see what's in this blue drop. Now, we can actually... Uh, we can also make cryopods in here too yeah that's worthless yeah there's some penguins and some raptors yeah. but the thing is is we don't even need to we won't even need to farm penguins man if we can get organic polymer from the corpses in the swamp So that's just going to go back up on top of more mountains. There's a land bridge and more iceberg frozen areas down there. Um, you know what? Is there any oil, actually? Any oil deposits? There... There were, I did see some underwater oil deposits. Here's some crystal down by those critters there. Um, along the southern coast that we can dive down to. I'd like to, yeah, that, man, look at that. There's a lot of crystal here. Okay. But I'm not seeing any oil though. A shipwreck. Wow, cool. Let's go look at that. I am I am aware that I'm getting cold, by the way. Oh, that's... Okay, never mind. Yeah, these are just the shipwrecks that have the barrels with the stuff in it. Still pretty cool, though. We'll get some stamina back on our bird here. And I'm going to take a couple more bites because we're... Slowly losing health due to the cold. Yeah, I'm not seeing uh, any oil. Uh, at least not in this area. No, that's fine. Okay, let's continue. Heading north, up the west western coast of the map here. We might need to... Here, let's get this out. It's getting dark anyway. That'll help give us a little tiny bit of warmth. There's a big iceberg over there. Okay, probably lots of... Oh, okay. Here's a cave. Crap. A 
Come on. Go over here before something tries to eat me. Okay. Yeah, that cave uh, kicked me off. Uh, the bird there. Whew. That was a little bit of a pucker moment. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're we're kind of in, in trouble. So we need to get out of the snow biome ASAP. But some... Found a bunch of meat. We don't actually have a bunch of meat. And I can't see a damn thing. So what we're going to do is... Try and get over the top of this mountain back down into that valley where it's going to be a little bit warmer. Cut me close. Yeah, I did. I uh, over uh, underestimated the danger of, of the temperature. Ah, uh, shit. Okay. This is not good. Um, birds out of stamina. Okay, yeah, I screwed up big time. Um, that's all the food I have left. Didn't bring any health kits. So what we're going to do is go get back out to the coast. Um, and I'll have to, hopefully the bird will, shit, okay. I'm going to bail off because I'm dead anyways. Hopefully the bird will stay in the air and we'll come back with the RG and try and find him. I, yeah, I definitely, <laughs> totally underestimated how dangerous the cold is okay so i will um what time is it actually yeah we're gonna need to wrap up this episode anyway so here's the deal i'm gonna jump on an rg run back up there grab my bird have more respect this time for the cold <laughs> and um once i get that far i will uh bring you guys back we'll just have the argentavis follow us at that point and continue exploring the map so thanks everybody for watching i hope you guys enjoyed this episode and if you did Please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, and share out the video. And we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.